the town of Royal Woods had awoken to the mild cool morning of March 15, 2021. It's near the end of the cold winter, and spring is just around the corner. Already the weather is getting warmer, the days were getting longer, the last of the snow is melting away in ditches and forests, but most of all the flowers were beginning to grow where they will soon bloom. Many of the children in Royal Woods were sad that the snow is gone. There was going to be no more snowball fights, building snowmen, making snow angels, ice skating, drinking hot chocolate, and most importantly for most kids no more snow days for a long time. It wasn't all bad though for now they can ride their bikes. Sport season is now upon them, and spring break is coming which excited most of the children. For the adults, they were glad that the snow is gone, and are looking forward to the warm weather but most of them knew about the bad aspects of spring such as the buds returning like mosquitoes would soon be upon them, and the ever-knowing danger of severe thunderstorms. In the Loud House, it's business as usual for Lincoln Loud as he fought his way to the bathroom by dodging flying pies and footballs, passing a fight cloud made by the twins, and just missing an explosion that came out of Lisa's room. Lincoln just about made it to the bathroom. Unfortunately when he got in there his nose had picked up an awful smell. Judging by it, he figured that Lynn had paid a visit to the bathroom earlier after eating a bean burrito. Luckily for living in this house, and experiencing every foul odor that came from his sisters and pets over the years, Lincoln knew exactly what to do. Grabbing a clothespin he used it to block his nose. With the horrible odor blocked off Lincoln proceeded with his bathroom rituals. After a while he was done. Lincoln then headed down to have his breakfast burrito along with the rest of his sisters. After breakfast Lincoln stepped out of his house with his backpack. He's wearing his orange spring jacket for although it wasn't very cold anymore. It was still not warm enough to wear his regular shirt outside. Despite this Lincoln took in a fresh breath of air. It smelled so nice and the air felt good. Overhead he could just hear the honking of geese returning from the south. Hey Lincoln. Get your head out of the clouds. The bus is here. Lola's voice cried out to him. The school bus opens its doors. Lincoln's younger sisters enter followed by Lincoln who quickly enters the bus as well. On the bus Lincoln spots his friends who sat at their usual spots. They wave upon seeing him approach them. Lincoln took his seat right next to Clyde. Hey buddy, isn't this a nice day? Sure is Clyde. I just love this time of year. It's just too bad my allergies are going to be acting up soon. It's a good thing my dads are going to the pharmacist to refill my allergy medicines this afternoon. I'm looking forward towards the upcoming spring break. It's going to give me a chance to look for some ladies. Rusty happily exclaimed. Stella holds in her laughter for Rusty's talk of getting a girl is always amusing to her. I'm planning on a fun-filled day at Dairyland. Zack spoke up earning some impressos from his friends. Geez, I wish I could go to there. Liam said. Well, why can't you? Zack asked. It's a busy time at the farm. We need to plant the crops. Tend to the animals. Gather eggs from the chickens and most importantly tend to the fields. That does sound busy, Rusty exclaimed. Yeah, but the hard work pays off during the harvest. Liam beamed happily. Stella now pops her head from over her seat. So what are you going to do for spring break Lincoln? Well last year me and Clyde made this list for what to do. Lincoln answered. It didn't turn out so good. Clyde added. So this year, we're just going to do stuff with no list whatsoever. That sounds fun. Hey. Maybe we three can have a video game tournament, Stella offered. That will sound fun, Clyde states. Lincoln nods in agreement. Yeah, especially since I just found out how to do the special move on Turbo Fighter 24, Lincoln added. The four friends continued to talk about the upcoming spring break until they had to separate for class when they got to the school. Miles away in Great Lake City, Ronnie Ann is also looking forward to the upcoming break. She just couldn't wait to shred new tricks on her skateboard. Hang with Sid and her other friends. Play the new games at the arcade. Oh yeah. This spring break was going to be awesome. It was just a bummer that her dad wasn't going to be here for break. As he was going to Yucatan for a two-week vacation. He is going to video chat her later in the day to wish her and Bobby a good night. Then show her all the sights at Yucatan when he got there the next day. She is disappointed. But understood that he wanted to have a good time at another country. Plus she is looking forward to see the Yucatan by both the wildlife and the culture there through the video chat and the photos he would send her. Ronnie Ann reached the front steps of her school. She jumps off her skateboard. She makes it flip and grabbed it in midair. She waved to Sid who's been waiting for her at the entrance. The two greet each other before heading into the school. Lori felt overwhelmed. 
For the past week the college she is attending have been giving her piles of work for the spring exams at the end of this week. Lori also had to study for the tests that were going to be with the exams. As mentioned Lori felt overwhelmed for she had to both fill in those worksheets and study for the tests. She had to wake up early or stay up past midnight to get them done. Lori may be tired, a bit sweaty, and stressed, but it was going to be fine after this week. For Lori planned on going back to Royal Woods for her spring break. She was going to hang with her siblings as much as she can, then spend the day with her boyfriend at the end of the week. Yes, after this week Lori is going to be so relaxed, and it would be nice to be back at her hometown, but that would have to wait. For right now she has to attend her first classes of the day where no doubt more paperwork would be dumped on her.